So far in today's show, we have been following the roof replacement process on this home, along with some improvements which include air sealing, new attic insulation, and more natural lighting. But before this project was even started, diagnostic testing was done on this home to determine how it could be improved for energy efficiency and the best way to do it. So let's once again meet up with our remodeling consultant, Andy Lindis, to see how this home was tested. Well, Andy, it looks like the guys are making some serious progress on this major renovation project. And, you know, I was amazed that this all came to be because of a hailstorm. The homeowners just simply wanted their roof replaced. But really, when you came out, you found out they wanted much more than that. Yeah, you know, we, we've talked about that before. And that's where we start. Find out the dreams from the homeowner, what they really want, and then go from there. And I'm really excited about this project. The natural light that we've been able to add, not only to the entryway, the hallway, and an interior bathroom the insulation that we've done. When you go in that attic, not only is it gonna be more energy efficient, but I really do think we've made this house more structurally sound. Sure, so, and I know that you had touched on that. Uh, that's the way you like to do it. We call it the Lindis process. You get to know the homeowners. Really, what is the end result they're trying to get? Sure, we know they needed a new roof, yeah. but in this case, they wanted a lot more of the natural light like you touched on. And I said, how do you start the process then? And you said it all begins with diagnostic testing. So let's begin today's show right here at the front door with what's called a blower door. When we first got here, before we did any type of work, we hooked this up and it really gives a blueprint on how to make this house the most comfortable it possibly can be. And if you look at where it's reading now, now that we got all the insulation done, we're hovering right around 1200 CFM. That's 1200 cubic feet per minute of air is moving through this house. Before we did any of the spray foam insulation or any of the attic air sealing around the house, we were hovering around that 25 to 2700. Wow, so, so you cut it by more than half. More than half. Now, say your furnace has to turn over the air in your house, you know, 14, 15 times a day. Now, your furnace or even your air conditioning unit has to do that seven times a day. Not only are you saving the money of running your furnace, it's going to add lifetime on to both of those units, so you won't have to replace them as fast. Okay, and so this blower door task, it's one of the diagnostic tools that you're using. And when you came in here, you said it was essentially double that. Mm -hmm. How do you know where the leaks are coming from? Because essentially, that's what you're finding are the leaks in the house, right? Yeah. We go around the house with an infrared imaging camera, and we can see where the air is coming in just by looking at the difference in heat signatures on the wall and the attic spaces. Okay. And then we go around the entire house with our smoke stick, and we're able to see where the leaks are coming from like the can light areas were really showing up. You saw that we put the boxes over a lot of those and fixed some ice dam issues. And now I think we got most of it all taken care of. And those leaks, a big area of it is up in the attic, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you and I touched on that. And when somebody says, hey, I need a new roof or I want new insulation, if they don't use the diagnostic testing, they're really doing a disservice. They're spending a lot of money that isn't necessarily the best well spent if they don't do the air sealing, right? Air sealing is the biggest return of investment as far as energy efficiency. Not only air sealing in the attic, we also went around the basement of the house and looked at the rim. And that's usually a big culprit. I mean, when we put the blower door test up, you open up the basement door, you could feel the air coming right to us. And that's because it's sucking in air down the walls, what we call stack effect or up the walls. And that's where the infrared imaging too, you start to see in the wintertime, the blue streaks going up the wall or coming down the wall. It's, it's kind of a neat thing. Okay, and so with all these diagnostic tools, you were able to really create that plan. We need to seal it up uh, in the attic. We need to seal up down around the rim. All Some of the windows were leaky. That's gotta be ultimate in the peace of mind for the homeowners to see it firsthand. You can actually point it. Is that possible to do? They're gonna feel it. You know, it's just gonna be a more comfortable house here. So when we go around, we're able to show people this is what we did and how we're gonna do it and then the diagnostics, it's real easy to price that out. We do this, this is how much we're going to save you in energy. We do this, this is how much we're going to save you in energy. So it really lets the, the, the customer choose a la carte, if you will, what they want done to their home in addition to the roof. And you know, Andy, in the past we've talked about how the house acts as a system and you can't go and change one aspect without affecting the other. And that's why you're using these tools, right? That's got to help the homeowners understand how it acts as a system. The diagnostics, like I was saying, gives us the blueprint on how to fix this house. I can't tell you how many times I go to somebody's house and they say, my windows leak or my door leaks. And uh, we hook up the blower door, we go around and, and yeah, they're feeling air coming out here. But more often than not, it's from a poorly air sealed attic or a poorly air sealed or insulated rim. So that air is traveling down the walls and it comes out at the trim or the outlets or you've seen those 
you know, those foam outlet covers you can get sure. and seal that up. That's just a putting a band-aid on it. That's putting the air someplace else. So it really allows us to do what we want to do is like what we did on this house. Brought the vacuum up there, vacked out all of the old insulation. We're able to see all of the perforations in the attic. Then the spray foam guys came in and put down a skim coat of spray foam. Over the top of that, we blew in fiberglass to get to an R50. So not only is it completely air sealed, it also has that R50 insulation. So when the attic does get warm, it's going to really block that heat or cold from coming into the house. Sure. So essentially what you're saying is year round, they're going to notice a difference. Yeah. Their air conditioner is not going to run as long in the summer months and their furnace won't have to work as hard in the winter months. Yeah. Going from 2600 CFM to well, we're at 1235 right now. I mean, that cuts your furnace time and your air conditioning time in half. They're going to work half as hard, half as much, and you're going to spend half the amount of money. Now here are some key points to help summarize today's show. If your home has storm damage or you're considering a new roof, it's a great time to do some additional remodeling and make sure your home is properly insulated and air sealed. You might even consider adding some natural lighting. Next, when having your new roof installed, make sure that all the old flashing is also being replaced. This will include sidewalls, around roof vents, and any other roof penetrations that are prone to leakage. Finally, if you're replacing your roof, adding siding, or have a problem with your home that you just can't seem to figure out, consider diagnostic testing by a trained professional. A blower door test and thermal imaging can detect problems you oftentimes can't see. And testing can be a wise investment before you start remodeling your home. Well, we're all out of time for this week's show. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time on today's Home Remodeling. The preceding program was sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network.